Hi everyone, Cinder here. Going back to Breath of the Wild. Hey, Nico. Hey, so I heard a playback today, and I did not know it made that much noise when I moved the microphone, so I apologize for that. <laughs> it was way louder than I thought. I have defense up for one more second. What should I do with my one second of defense up? Go jump in the way. Go jump in the lava. Do it! Oh, it, it ran out before I, before oh, I got there. That jam. Shame. Such a shame. Alright, let's... Last Divine Beast. Burnt yourself. Yeah, game doesn't let me. <laughs> going on here. Dropped a treasure chest. Shields would be nice. Ice arrows. Kind of an obvious, obvious give. A torch. I feel like I need that. So sorry, iron sledgehammer. And it has a long throw on it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> cool. Dragon Bone Boko Club with their ability up. Mm. After the talk. Give me fun. Let there be light. Long throw is my least favorite modifier. It's not great. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. Because everything... The only thing it would be good on would be the boomerang. And even then, I'm not sure. Only if it made it go farther before it returned. I found a javelin one time with long throw, but then I felt a difference on it. I see, that's cool. But the problem is, after you throw it... It's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's right. It's it breaks. Right. So. It's kind of a one hit kill. Yeah. You, you better hope it's a one hit kill. Yeah. Anyway. You're only getting one throw with it, so. That's kind of what. Doesn't make it all that great to me. 
When you're gonna throw your weapon, you're usually right in their face because they're about to break so that you get the double damage. Of them. Right, for sure. With durability up, I actually want that. That I do want. I have a question. Yes. I might have an answer. So, throwing a weapon is considered a crit. And headshots are crits as well. Correct? Correct. Are you saying do you get double crit? I have no clue. <laughs> Probably not. I, it would be ways. awesome. That would be great. but it, It'd be great, but I'm willing to bet it's just code well, dead. Depends on how they do the equation. Does it count as a crit? Or do you just do double damage because the weapon breaks? Is it its own... Category. modifier yeah. if it's its own modifier it may crit and then double that damage or it may double the damage of the weapon and then oh it critted double it again it might i'm saying i could see where they i could see how it could happen um i guess i'll drop i'm still using up the lionel bow I'll drop this basic nice bow and then take this fancier Durability up. Durability up plus, actually. I do need a torch again. Hope I have enough arrows. Please. Five arrows. I'll I'll take that actually. <laughs> So far, so okay. The so far, it's more annoying than it is hard. I'm okay with that to a point. Having to go back and keep lighting the torch because, like, oh, treasure chest, and I just can't help myself. The dragon in me says, "Treasure!" Immediately grab. That's what I did not like about this dungeon, just how dark also, it was. The RPG person, me too, also says that. But it's double bad. Alright, let's get the map.
<laughs> Not incorrect. <laughs> Correct. All right, Divine Beast. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Ruthania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Ruthania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Got this, little guy. I like how the roof called Link a little guy. I like it. I like it. Alright. Well, at least the lights are on. But now the challenge begins. Alright. What do you do? I didn't realize something. Why aren't there Dodongos? Uh, That's true. I don't think I'm. Why aren't there Dodongos? There are the oh, yeah. yeah, you can both come to the side. Oh my god, I've already dealt with flipping stuff. But that's all he does. He's either sideways or straight. Okay, that's fine. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. That's not. I don't think it's so much the sun, Neko, as the fact you're in a volcano. <laughs> what? Um. The lights are on, technically the sun is on. Well, you're in a volcano too. That's probably where a lot of the lights come from. <laughs> True. So watch your step. Oh, this is the dragon bone. Both of them. I don't feel like I need the torch anymore. Ditching you. We're gonna use this a long throw it has, why not? Out the window. It does go farther. Alright, Pokemon Club, we're using you. Who <laughs> turned off the sun? <laughs> the rotation of the earth? Okami. Okami. Ugh. I'm trying to think of other sun people. <laughs> Apollo. Ah, oh, you beat me to it. Um. Although, Kratos took care of that, but that's neither here nor there. Who was um, Norse? Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm very rusty on Norse stuff. I think it was a wolf actually with the sun chasing each other. Yes, that's right, so. yeah. Knight's bow with quick shot. Darn. These fancy knight's bows. Um, What's my bow doing in a volcano? <laughs> yes, I'm going to keep making that joke. We're gonna dish the line over. Fender and his brother. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that sounds right. Quick shot. We're gonna have the forest dwellers. Oh both. no, it's skull and hockey. According to this. That that sounds right. That sounds um Falcon though. We'll use the Falcon. <laughs> oh man. Hi, Venus. Yeah, thankfully, I'm not one of those YouTubers with just. Hey, here with another Minecraft video, number 952. I don't know how I was supposed to open that door, but I'm just using a fire rabbit. Works for me. Skull chases, um, potty chases the moon. If they catch their prey, it's doomsday. Ragnarok, basically. Right, yeah, it's Ragnarok. Oh, speaking of stuff, did y'all hear that uh, Loki's getting his own, like, Netflix series? Yes, I heard that. Yeah, and it is, uh, Tom... Oh, I forget his name. I forget his name, but is he, like, the actual actor? Yeah, it's the, it's the actor that's been playing Loki in the movies. Yeah. That he, he's doing it. I think that's awesome. Yeah, we're at, we're in Ludania. We're in Wakanda? What? Rudani. No, no. No, not Black Panther. No. 
Tom Hiddleston, maybe. Yes, thank you. I'm so terrible with names. I'm really bad with names too. I'm in the wrong menu. Blaming you, chat. You're sure. <laughs> Whatever, it's open. <laughs> there are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. We all know Kratos starts riding a rock. I believe that's correct. In that game, yeah. <laughs> I okay. Unpopular opinion time. I did not care for Black Panther. To me, it was just another action hero Marvel movie. It's just meh to me, honestly. I thought it was okay. Yeah, it was okay, but it wasn't like the best thing ever that like, people are making it out to be. Oh. Truth chest. Haha! <laughs> I knew you were hiding something. In ancient gear. Ooh, useful. I need to go back and change stuff. You need to go talk to Robbie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, not until I beat Ganon. Then I'm, I'm, I might do that. So it says to each his own. That's fair. Thank you, Venus. That's my movie watch was Volume 1 Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I like parts. Uh, unpopular opinion time. I like parts of Guardian of the Gal Guardians of the Galaxy. Both one and two. I like parts. I don't care for the whole movie. That's fine. Okay, let's, let's explore some more. At least with Mudanya when he goes back and forth, it's not like, oh, what just happened with all the barrels? Uh, right, yeah. Like, this is... Huh? <laughs> I forgot I changed our... Reminder, you are in the volcano. In... <laughs> Not near it. In it. <laughs> Walk outside. <laughs> 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 Instantly catch fire. Channel my inner... inner uh... Wasting your college money, Vanos. Oh, yeah. Those whole, whole few cents of college money. Now I understand mm -hmm. if that's all you have. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know what it's like to be broke college student. Oh. Alright, let's not be able to... Wait, what's on fire? Ah, oh, don't be on fire. You don't be on fire either. All the crap's on fire. <laughs> Oh, and use the durability up one. And use the quick shot. Okay, so you will go up by turning. Okay. Come on, Link. I need you to. I need you to hold on. Cool. That's neat. That's uncool. Where'd y'all come from? Oh, God. 
Darn it. Under this. Turn. Okay, we well, did that. Switch. Did I play medieval? Way back. <laughs> That's a super old game. Super old, man. No! No! Man, what's with all these games getting remastered lately? Like, cool! Like, I'm down. Man, that game is not great. <laughs> but I played it growing up, so. Oh man, I tell you what needs to be remade now. We need to remake um, Maximo, both one and two. So we can all really hate ourselves. Those Dark Souls people, they think they got get good. No, no. Oh, that, that reminds me, um, of my Dark Souls. Apparently, um, somebody, a game journalist, I think, was doing Spyro Remasters. Mm -hmm. And he got to later levels. Now, Spyro, you know, it's a platform, right? It gets hard eventually. Correct, yeah. But, you know, you can still beat it even as a kid. You know, that's typical old school platformers. Correct. It's the Dark Souls of platforming. <laughs> I'm like, it, dude, it's old school platforming. You Old school platforming is hard. Old school platforming We were just better as kids. That's yeah, what it is. We, <laughs> we had better reaction time as kids. <laughs> Oh man, Maximo! Yeah, see? Zareth knows. Zareth knows. All those Dark Souls people, I got their next challenge. <laughs> go go 100% Maximo for me. <laughs> that game lives to kill you, man. Like, Banjo-Kazooie. Like, Banjo-Kazooie is a, a hard platformer now. Like, people play Banjo-Kazooie, it's like, oh man, this is way harder than I remember. Yeah. Well, I we were kid. just we're just kids. Just as kids. Like, well, I... You have better reaction. I 100%ed Banjo-Kazooie. You know, were insane. Right? <laughs> yeah, I was... Yeah, I got it. Got the whole cutscene for the whole Banjo-Tooie thing that they really didn't use. And Sadly. that was upset, upsetting. Well, like, here's the thing is, as a... They prove that kids have better reaction time than adults, usually. And as a kid, you have the hours and hours you can spend on trying to get that jump, or trying to get that puzzle piece, or whatever you're trying to get. Right. As an adult, not so much. <laughs> And to see if I can stay on top of him while he moves. <laughs> I can see me doing that. Oh no. Okay, so you. You need to be lit. With the ball. And then the ball needs to get to the main room where the, the uh, hole in the wall was so it unlocks something. Okay, now can I just use any fire? I think that's how speedrunning came to be. I have four hours until work. Can I beat this game? <laughs> <laughs> I could. I, I see could that. Totally see that. And thus, speedrunning was born. You get a couple of you summoning stuff. Okay.
An ancient core? I know this, Zendor, you're kind of getting the whole thing of like. Sorry, Breath of the Wild. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Midway through. Eh. Late game. Poop, who dares? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of kind of where we were. We're kind of at that point now. You're almost to the who dares point when something attacks you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this I can. I'm moving around well, I feel like, but I'm not getting anywhere because I'm not finding the shrines. <laughs> it says there's a shrine here. I know at the the other end. Terminal. Uh, terminal. That thing. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Cool. Never mind. Right when I say that, of course. There are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Okay. They look to be way over there. I gotta figure out the puzzle. That's gonna be the the rough part of this whole whole adventure. So we're gonna be fighting up here. Interesting. Big and open. I'd rather it not be able to do that because then it's just easier to keep track of. So, interesting thing, I saw one guy who does a lot of battery breaks since you're on the outside of Redonia. Like, if you look around, all you see is this volcano and magma. Apparently, that's all that's rendered while you're inside Redonia. It's just a big thing of volcano like the inside part. Oh. To the safe space, I guess. That makes sense. Well, you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else, so... Yeah. Why... But Why waste computing power on the rest of the world? Anything. <laughs> but interestingly, if you're in the other divine days where you can like, still see the rest of the world, mm -hmm. it's just really low poly. It's still rendered, but it's just very low poly to save space. Huh. The more you know. So, I, I don't remember who was that boundary broke yet, but it was really cool to see. I didn't have an NES growing up, I had an SNES, and I played the heck out of that ah, little kid. Did it. <laughs> did it. My arm back. Alright, what's in here? Other than flame. I didn't play a Zelda game until GameCube when One Waker came out. That was my first Zelda. <sighs> Um, I played the original Legend of Zelda <laughs> on the NES, so... I have to do the puzzle I was talking about. The fun part. I didn't need that. Well, um, I feel like I need a torch now. I threw the torch. <laughs> That was my, my first system growing up. My parents got me a uh, NES. And I've been a gamer ever since. My dad claims that we have an Atari, but I was too young to remember the Atari. 
I've played an Atari, but it wasn't my, my first. A friend of mine had an Atari. Yeah. The, the one I remember is the SNES. Great systems, the NES. That's great. We didn't have a lot of games for it, but what we had, me and my brother took the heck out of it. We'll talk about having a master sword equipped. Ah! I knew that was going to happen. I knew as soon as I swung and he hadn't charged yet. Going here. Hey, it's your chest. Where am I now? <laughs> Heard of rupees, cool. Silver rupee. Hit you. You opened this. All the old games I used to play, I have literally, I've, maybe not literally, but I'd like to, to think I've played thousand plus games. I've played a lot of games over, over time. I've played a lot of games. On the NES, I played a lot of um, NES um, uh, NES Open. That game was fun. Um, and also extremely hard. I played that a lot. Of course, Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest 1, got me hooked onto RPGs. That's where I started. Um, Tetris. I played a lot of Tetris. Um, not on the NES. I played a lot of Tetris on the Game Boy. The Brick Game Boy. That thing. Um, Kirby's Dreamland was my first Kirby game, and then I played uh, Kirby's Adventure. And Kirby's like been best friend ever since. I love Kirby. I remember we didn't have the money to really buy a lot of games, so we rented a bunch of games back when that was. We rented a lot of games from Blockbuster. A lot of. Uh, See, we didn't have a Blockbuster near us. We had a, I think it was called a video gallery or movie gallery or something like that. But the same thing. Right. We would go out there usually. Every Friday, my mom would get, let me and my brother rent a game for the weekend. <laughs> I feel like that shit worked. I used to have a game okay. break, and I still have my seafood purple Game Boy Color. It is game still, Boy Color? It still works. Game Boy Color was fun. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh no. <laughs> Pokemon was your first RPG? I played a ton of Pokemon uh, Red. I had Red. My little brother had Pokemon. Pokemon would be my first RPG. Um, I actually took my brother's Red cartridge <laughs> and played it, and I I was bigger than him, so I don't think he could really... He never got it back from me. My mom made me give it back eventually. She bought me Yellow. Yellow? I still have Red and Yellow. I have a bunch of the old Pokemon games still. I... I remember, I think it was a birthday or some point, I got a carrying case that has my Game Boy and some old Game Boy games in it. I still have that thing, too. Okay. Other than that, I'm still missing the fire. Without spending 2k rupees. <laughs> Spend 2k rupees on your list. Without spending 2k rupees and upgrading the armor. <laughs> you got mad because you wanted EV? Yeah, same. <laughs> Like, it was cool to get the Pikachu, but I kind of wanted the Eevee also.
I, I remember when I first played through Yellow, Gary made his into a, a Jolteon. So I was like, hey, you're copying me. <laughs> <laughs> Fire is either controlled by that thing. Which is wait a minute. You're to stop the the ball, I guess? Stop the flames, or you open a different way. Explode. Well, not run, because I have a choice. Walk. Up here. And we'll rotate it again. Walk that way. Walk up here. Left. Then you would move. You could do that one. Okay. Leave here for now. Leave. Leave it. Come back. That's when I wish I could sell weapons. I want to be able to sell things for money. <laughs> Give me money! <laughs> Maybe? I don't remember where I can get a torch. We talked about this and I don't remember where, <laughs> where it was now because that was like five or six streams ago. Always rolled with Beedrill. I liked, I liked uh, Butterfree, but... Butterfree is now really weak. Truth, Tornado was really good against Psychic Pipes. I remember in uh, Silver, I got a beat drill and put Bugsy's, the move Bugsy gives you to beat Whitney. What? Okay. <gasps> Never mind. Yes, though. How much for both? Okay, okay, bye, Cora, please. Alright, here we go. Head to time. Okay. Yes, I did. 
Here you go. The other reason I came here. It's a booby. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that a real booby? Yes. Is it more beautiful than Peaks imagined? Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. Nice, some rupee. Yeah, Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? You desperately need rupees. You should shoot an arrow at a booby. Here they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. They do. I actually know. So glad I got to see something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. It's good. The Koroks are adorable. I, they are. Hmm. Uh, Tony. Tony, good afternoon. All right. <laughs> good. Okay, we got that. Um. I will take the hearty truffle. Thank you. Yeah. Oh no! Let me do that. Take the hearty radish. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Carl. I don't need the shock arrows. Complete the trials! I would, but I don't want to go through Lost Woods again. <laughs> Test of the wood. Oh! The forest music is great. Never mind. I'm going this way. I never saw that sign before. Hero guy, I was told you'd be coming. You really think you're ready for the test of the wood? Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials. Not all complicated. All you need to do is equip this Korok weapon set and reach the shrine at the back of the area. Sure, I'm down. Keep your sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. If they break or you unequip them, you're out. Okay. Oh, inventory is oh. A sword. Sword. I was like, what do I not have room for? Sword. Right. Um... You're burning up anyway, so... I'm ready. Can't break or unequip them. Alright. Reach the shrine at the back of the area. Y'all are cheating. Y'all are the most cheating. That's what I knew was gonna show up. I knew it. You're trying to make me drop my weapon. Oh no! You're one of those things. <laughs> I thought it was just muck. Do it again. Yep. 
Apple. Explode it right at that moment. Keep moving. Break that. Fine. We shoot the Karak now. <laughs> no more playing around. I was trying not to, uh, or not shoot the Karak. We, you shoot the off rock. I was trying not to do that. You fall in there and die. 
That's true. New Forest Dweller Sword with durability up. Um, that really doesn't help me because fire everywhere where we're going. Congratulations! You passed the test of wood. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. Okay. Oh yeah. Ever want to do the trial again? Just let me know. See ya. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. No, thank you. Yay, hero. Keep this stuff. Major test strength. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> no, I knew it was going to be a blessing. I mean, <laughs> the the test was getting there. <laughs> A giant ancient core. I got one of those now. And that's four. Time to go get a heart container. Before we head back to Death Mountain. Probably have to drop it. Well, I'll drop the copper pressure. Um, do not have the force dweller's bow equipped. Drop bow. And do not have the force dweller's shield equipped. Just remember. Um. Next, we go to. Ancient Tech Lab. Two reasons. One, we have a whole bunch of the cores and stuff. Let's see if we can make anything. And two, I know there is a torch here. 
Missing. Welcome. What do I want? This stuff. I want this stuff. And I can make it. I don't need the helmet, per se. Not yet. I mean, eventually we'll need the helmet for the entire set. Forgot how many rubies this costs. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost positive of that. I'll need 6,000 cash. And three more ancient cores. I'll just, I'll wait. I'll just wait right now. Well... No. No, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the armor. This set is handy, yes. Results available. Now we're broke. So in response to that. Chikakariko Village! The the headpiece will be last. Because if I... Just for the Guardian Resist Up... I have that in a headpiece. We have that diamond band. So we'll get it last. But I want the whole set for the set bonus. But that'll be down the road if we ever get it. <laughs> container. Yes. Ooh, second row. That's always a good sign in Zelda. selling lots of junk <laughs>
You all are not as impressive as I want you to be, so I'm just selling all of you. Aww. Plus, I can always go get more. And... That will do. Food. What are you doing on food? I can make a few things. I know just what I want to make, too. No, not that. <laughs> actually, actually, cook it for me late. There we go. <laughs> The bananas. <laughs> need, need more bananas. <laughs> Mighty simmered fruit for the attack power. And But it should give a decent amount of parts, so. Don't really care much about the stealth. Just... Yeah, so. Oh, that was movement speed. Awesome, even better. Seven movement speed. And. Did that, did that, grab the torch. Okay. One last stop. Nero Hill. Nero Hill. Lumina stones! That's the reason. I took half a heart of ice damage for the split second that I was in the area. What? Be that one? money Good. here are where the mighty thistles are by the way as it's like I can always go get more <laughs> not grab any more fireproof lizards. Darn it. What do you need? Ancient screws and ancient spring. Done? I have plenty uh. of those. <laughs> that is not a problem.
arm made from ancient Sheikah technology and guardian parts. Reduces damage from ancient weapons. I... To upgrade it again. 15 ancient springs and 10 ancient gears. More expensive. I don't have many of the ancient gears. That frame you took though? Yeah. <laughs> What do I need to upgrade the hood? Upgrade the hood. I like wearing it hmm. from time to time because it looks neat. And both of them are kill more both of them. I still don't know where the last fairy dog is. <laughs> Probably somewhere you haven't really explored yet. Death Mountain. Got it. I got thinking one more place. Death Mountain. Got it. <laughs> Um, fang guts. I got those. What? Read it again. Mm. So it looks cool. I <laughs> 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 radiates off those clothes. No, nope, uh. I'm not fine with that. Bye. Fairy theme is my third favorite song. It's nice. I do like the uh the fairy thing. Oh, it's probably here. Maybe by Hyrule Castle. I've not been there yet. Where is it though? Well, so, uh, once I get through Divine Beast Rodana, we're gonna go start looking for for random stuff. Random shrines, Korok seeds. Uh, the last great fairy fountain is what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I'm still missing one. Because even if I had it, A, I have to have whatever ridiculous amount of rupees she's going to ask for. And then B, I have to have the materials, which we know that's a struggle and a half. Okay. Now I have torch. Now I have torch. I put out the blue flame and it just immediately catches back on fire. Yeah. But just with regular flame. <laughs> Which is funny. Okay, now the question is where did you go? You went here. Where was the, the place it ended? Oh, 
There it is. <laughs> I needed the torch, was the main... Main reason? The main reason I left. Just yeah. one I was like, I need a torch. Because I had to light more. the thing. The problem now is... I still don't know... If the fire was still in That I've not been. You're the only thing that's left. What I need. Fantastic. I was denied critical need to know information. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite favorite things that he says. <laughs> See, I even knew what movie it was from. <laughs> Zarza. Hey, Zarza. Stop. Oh, I'm being, I'm being silly. Turn it to where it helps me. This was way better than the the camel. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was the last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control. See, this was way better for me. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're going to need to make your way over to that. Stay focused, little guy. I like how the root calls the little guy. <laughs> well, I mean... You got Goron. You <laughs> got <Pilot>. Goron. <laughs> Hey, little guy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Zorza. 
Thank you. seen Tremors in a long time, but I feel like I can quote <laughs> a lot of that movie. <laughs> or if somebody said a quote for me, I'd be like, oh yeah, that part just immediately sparks to mind. Alright, let's do this. Last Divine Beast. How did you cheat? What's his name? Garut. Garut. How did you cheat, Garut? Wanted to, tennis. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to play tennis. Shame. Clever there. Oh, 
fuck yourself. Him with your laser eye. Yeah, I ain't cheated. <laughs> you just started using laser eye. Bruce protection inventions wear down, I guess. Wear get down. down. I'm okay. Oh, body able. Shin deru. Hey, heart container. GG! Did it? I liked that one a lot. All the dime B is cleared. <laughs> the, the camel one is by far my least favorite. I don't like the rotating yeah. like that. This was fine because it was just two. Yeah, when it's just two planes, that's fine. Two directions. But when you're rotating three different things around... Finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should I apologize. Hear it. I, have to listen to it I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. It's cool. The good news is, Ruthani is now back under our control. That means that our century old Ganon B Town plan can finally go sure. into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! <laughs> Man, he even gave his power the coolest out of everybody. It even looks cool! <laughs> yeah. Awesome power. From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives Your inside you. Good luck, little guy. 
and give my regards to the princess. You know, you get him slapping his hands together. <laughs> like he was summoning energy. Ah, oh, that was so cool. And the way Link uses it, smashing his fist together. Oh, yeah. That's boss. I wanted easy the Rook's power before you meet the Rook. Yeah. Like, you know, but uses it. Yeah, because <laughs> no Rook uses it. Still, that was really cool. Alright. Right. Once Link is in the castle, Plutonia will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. The equivalent of a GDI ion cannon will hit him? My rule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Ha! That's awesome. You get to see his ancestor. Yes. That's cool. That's really cool. And like Daru was worried about his people. Oh man, are they okay? Yeah, are they okay? Yeah. yeah right. Still going strong. <laughs> that's so cool. That is. That is. Daru is. Daru is. He's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> he's my favorite of the old. Okay. The old guard. Yeah. Protective power containing the perfect defense of champion Daru. It'll automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding the L. That's fine. Link. Link. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Free the Divine Beast? Reclaim the four Divine Beasts by defeating the four Ganon Phantoms haunting them. You should let Impa know of your success. Hey there. Nice day. I think you came at a good time. Ever since the lizard monster lurking on Death Mountain was tamed, it's safe again. Yay! It's safe, but still pretty darn hot. Hey! Huh. Thanks so much for appeasing Redania, Goro. I don't exactly know what you're doing, what you were doing, but, well, save some calm down. You know, while I was up there, I could have swore I saw Lord Daru standing on top of Redania. You did. His ghost? Yeah. The spirit. So I feel a lot braver now. Or, uh, well, yeah. He's... Oh, that's right. Talk to boss about you. He said to bring you to him. Order from boss can't be refused. Okay. Yay! 
I like how he like helped Yunobo also get over being. Yeah. Dead. I need more shoes. <laughs> it is. It is clear. That's the thing I'm kind of missing. Yay! Neat. Three. Times three. Like it, it, it'll, it'll save my hide three times. Even without a shield. That's useful! <laughs> this is why it's instantly useful. Yep. Awesome. Um, that's what I will equip here. I don't need you now. And the torch instantly catches the fire. <laughs> Let me get over that. It just looks cool. Hey, it's you! you told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that? I can't believe you conquered Rudania. Color me impressed. Good grief. I had to do it just when my back pain went away? I was ready! <laughs> oh, 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 go wrong. Man, look, I, like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. Me! Oh, I was so happy to see you know about finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. Enough back patting and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. Calm down and return to his peaceful ways. Now we get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. Oh, that's right. Still gotta thank you. Treasure in my house. Grab it, keep it, it's yours. The sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. However, well, as a Hylian, you probably already know this, but apparently, a hundred years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade to sword the Seals Darkness. I don't have that equipped right now, but yes, I have that. That said, you got a rather fine blade, don't you? No, oh, think of it. You look just like the Hylian champion. <laughs> Correct. Did it. <laughs> Complete. Treasure. 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 Boulder Breaker. This two handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. He one handed it. We will not. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. That's all for Divine Beast. We need to go talk to Impa and other stuff. But first, before any of that jazz save and Daruk's amazing. I like him a lot. Daruk's cool. great. He won my favorite of the old champions. He's, he's, he's my favorite of the old champions. Urbosa's, Urbosa and Daruk are kind of tied for me at the top. Let's see. I had to put him in order. Daruk's one. Um, I'd probably put Mifa two. Just because I'm a healer, okay. so I get it. Um, Arbosa. Arbosa, three. Though she's kind of right there with Mifa. Yeah. Like a two, and Raleigh's like down the last. Like way down the ladder. <laughs> it's interesting. Raleigh seems really polarized. Either people love him or people hate him. It's it's interesting because. I'm playing through Grandia 2 right now. Right. And I love Ryudo, but I don't like Revolt. But the way Revolt just comes off is like he's too narcissistic and cocky or something. Well, he's... It's not that he's just cocky. He's like way 
smug. smug. He's yeah. like the biggest cool. smug. Yeah, I can see that. For sure. Like the big, like elitist. Yeah. Like if he was just snarky, that'd be one thing. That'd be one thing. But he's, you know, and I could find some laugh in that. Like if he was just like ribbon link sometimes, and was just kind of snarky, that'd be one thing. But he's like Rito is just blunt and don't care what people think about him. Right. Which. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is me. <laughs> no, like Rivali is which like I, which I smug, lost. and then he's like, he, as far as I can tell, he hasn't really been able to back it up. Yeah, from what we, from what, what we've we seen. Like, I, I will not deny that he's probably a very good Rito archer. He, he's probably an fire. amazing archer, but. Yeah. Should, should I go talk to you, Nova? I think I saw him walking. Hey. Huh? I said his back is all better. And really stop ravaging. He's like, finally take it easy, Cora. It's happy now. Oh, did you talk to Patricia that's uh. it? No. Uh. Yay? All four there? I think if Ryuta, if Rivaldi had Ryuta's personality, I'd be more okay with him. Oh, yeah. I'd be... Like, if Rivaldi... Oh, it's, he's almost like Teba a little bit. The Rito that helped you. The descendant, quote-unquote. New guard. Don't remember him at all. I'm guessing. He's the one that flew you up to Mado and... That was his name? Yeah, Teba. That was something else. Oh, okay. If Rivali was more like Teva, I think I would like him better. Where Teva's like, go away, I don't have time for you, I'm trying to save my people. Link. Link. I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Ruta. Rudania. Meadow. Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. The Champion's Ballad. But it's EX. I might do it anyway. Then why not? The champion's battle is good if you want more backstory on the champions. So? <laughs> Zelda's voice has spoken to you because that's what she's good at. First, Link needs a spot. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you like walk out the back. I think. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody remember where Patricia is supposed to be? The San Raju Sand Seals. Or they always come here and rest at the end. Yeah, it's got some nice bonuses. Yeah. Go to the room, room and go left when facing. Go this way. Oh, there she is. That's fancy. It has bow. Has bow. <laughs> it's good seal. <laughs> you gotta talk to her handler. Oh. Hi. 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 
You traveler? Sitting, the, sitting here is the chief's favorite sand seal, Patricia. No ordinary sand seal. Actually, something of an oracle. If you offer fruit to Patricia by placing it before her, you'll receive some words of wisdom in return. No one? Have a banana. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 I love the sand seals. Sand boots for desert sands and snow boots for serious snowfall. I spared you the painful seal pun. <laughs> what would painful seal pun be? For serious snowfall. Ah, see, that's, that's awesome. Don't spare me painful seal pun? What? I was like, come on, say a pun. Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We are very grateful. We know about those two boots. Yes. Uh, Have another one. I don't know if she said if you give her different fruits, say different things or not. Yeah, we're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Seal the deal on your fortune by using more valuable fruit. Yeah, that was no avoiding that one. <laughs> she makes puns. <laughs> Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We are grateful. Like she, she does give you legitimate hints, but they're all in seal puns. That's amazing. Have hydromelon? Was it right? Hmm? No? Wait! <laughs> oh. This the best. Sand seals can be knocked out of the sound of an explosion. I'm si serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> that was a close one. She tried to slip a steel pun in there. I like that the handler tries to cut out the seal puns. <laughs> Thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> yes, I love that it's in puns there. <laughs> I, I knew you would love this. <laughs> I think you can use any fruit. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. oh, repeat. I don't think she says very many, but... Oh, that's a shame. They should have had a lot. <laughs> Last one. Oh, Apple kind of rolled away. <laughs> Where she can eat with those tusks in the way. I guess like actual walrus. Okay. Same thing. That's awesome, though. Yes. Those I don't are... know why you would like that. Yeah, those are great. Yay! I like the plushie. Yes. A Gerudo spear. Ooh, nice. Album is full. Um, okay. Just a quick. It's kind of cool looking. It matches the Sheikah slate. Yeah. The ancient armor looks amazing. Okay. Now map. Let's see. Where to now? There are a few things you all have told me because let's... Let's be honest, I don't want to use the champion weapons because I know they'll break and then I'll be sad. Mm-hmm. 
because I like the way they way they look and stuff. And because it's stupidly expensive to repair them. Yes. From everything you all have, have told me. So, I was told there was a way to store weapons. Yes. Where's that? You need to do the Hillian High Homeowner side quest. <sighs> he needed stuff. Three thousand rubies if you have also thirty bundles of wood. Why is it so expensive? Is it so expensive? No, we need more money. <laughs> we always need more money. All the money. Start killing things, I guess. Killing things, mining ore. Well, now that Rodani has calmed down, you can go m mine ore. Oh, yeah, they said something about that, didn't they? Yeah. I think that's how I did this quest, is I started gathering ore and just killing a bunch of bobo lands and, and selling their drops. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, is sell their drops. Or if you... Everything that... Or if you find a mini game you're good at, you can get rubies from it, do it over and over. Yay, Ruby grinding. Not yay. What mini games do we have? We've done the, the snow bowling. Yeah, that's a fail. Um, that's all the fail. Rito flying. That one guy on top of the tower. Who wasn't there the last time I went there? So I was thinking that may be a mini game, but there was somebody there. Um, I think there's a shield surf thing. There's a shield surf thing. I'm not great at it either. Yeah. Where's where's uh where's the What even is their village called? I don't even remember. Whose village? The flying people. Rita village. There we go. Can I suggest something? Go for it. I'm open to suggestions. I, other than doing the final thing, now that I've done everything like myself I'm now open to suggestions and I'm going to start asking for stuff in particular that I want to do before we go face Ganon and anything and not that. related to Ganon pretty much yeah anything basically just about anything not related to Ganon okay Swore Death Mountain for ore veins okay that's what you were saying yeah so that makes I mean that makes sense maybe it's just taking aim at killing him again and it's too dangerous to go near I don't want to go near it. I want to... <laughs> I just want to be at the village. Are you taking damage from cold? Yeah, I think so. Did it. Okay. Where... We? Oh, yeah, it's not here. Shoot, their thing is... different. Where's their... The way Rito is set up, it's weird, because it's like... They live in Rito Village, but they do a lot of stuff in the snow area. Hmm. 
There it is, flight rank. Perfect. Yeah, it's fine. The microphone's not completely turned toward her. So. Sometimes can miss things, she says. Sorry, I'm bad at projecting my voice, too. Flight range. And then we'll go to Death Mountain. And that's going to be the, the rest of the stream. We're j I'm just going to look around. And see. see, there's nobody here. Because I thought this would be a mini game. But. Oh, maybe he's still at Rito Village. You got to talk to him first or something, maybe? I guess one Ted will live in back here right now. That's what I was thinking, like shooting these targets I'm for a mini game. I'd I'd be down for that. I'm I could do this all day. I think you had to talk to him in Rito Village, but I'm almost certain this was a mini game for movies. Oh, is he just stay at Rito Village? I could have sworn someone comes back and you can play a mini game. Could have sworn. That's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. From cold to stupid hot. Question. What happens if you take a horse to Death Mountain? You can't. The horse just refuses, just flat out? Just flat out refuses. I try to ride one up Death Mountain Trail. You get to the line where it goes from hot to stupid hot, and the horse just refused. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> yeah. Because that makes sense. Okay, from cold to hot, change weapons. Oh, change everything. Okay, I thought I was right. You can talk to Teva's son, but you can only do it once, and if you get all the targets, you get uh, a gold rupee. Okay, so if I have 300 cash short or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. I would have loved to have grinded that. Horse ain't having it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Here to. Guess we just start looking around. Is that how this works now? Go here. Whee! Well, I know there's that north mine. Already a good start. No, you die. Oh, I can't get oh, I will take your shield though. Thank you. Your stick. Yay! For the money! Roasted bird drumstick! Not done that. I hate that it's the only way you can get like a cooked chicken thing. That's not a meat stew. Yeah. 
That's kind of lame. It's in here, so it shows that they should have been able to do more things with the chicken. Alright, how about chicken? I don't know. There's a bunch of food here. It's just low level food, but it's free. I saw you over there. I don't think I didn't. I think a lot of this is food to help you get up the mountain the first time. That's fair. I like how Link spins when you sprint attack with spears. All the different, like, attacks that Link, Link does is nice. Five shock arrows, but we have a thing to kill. Even my master sword. I see you walking over here. Come on. Your supplies now. I deserve this. <laughs> I deserve that because I did not. Swung too early. Hit it again. There we go. Well, oh, good. It caught itself, kind of. Cool here. Hey, a diamond, sweet. Yeah, but I need the stuff, so he needs to climb his metal butt back up here. So I go, oh, there's another one. Good. That's cheating. I'm not hitting him. Yeah, that hit, hit me like this right How are you not running? How's it running out of energy? You're running a gamma thing. How does that not count? Well, now things are bad. Because. That should count. That's a it's counted a before. You're a gamma thing. Give me all your stuff. Because he was missing a few screws. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that max power went around Ganon's influence. The durability gets tripled. It's never broke on me before, though. And I've swung, swung the heck out, out of it. With those things around. No, what I'm, yeah. what I'm confused about is I have never had it break or run the whole energy while fighting a Ganon thing. Right, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like we used the heck out of it in that the temple place where they're all around. Well, that's all I used. But here here is my saying from what the Decker Tree warned us about. Don't you use a kerosene, so you only use it near, like, malice and Ganon control stuff. That shouldn't count as durability. I think. Well, now we know. Yep. I like the force roller stuff just because it looks cool, but it's not sturdy for beans. Yeah, well, I am using it to, to mine. <laughs> Yay, hot spring. Mm. 
the more you know, as they say. So it's out for a little bit. I bet it recharges fairly quick. With his max durability, it lasts for 180 hits, roughly. Well, no wonder it's never prepped down now. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Well, change of plans. We won't do that now. You could probably get a cobble crusher or something from Goronville, Goron City, and use that. Oh, I'm sure I can. That's why I ended up using those or sledgehammers. We're gonna go back to Goron City. Well. Hey, Lucy. Yeah. Hi. Always get stressed out when I hear the piano. I used to Zara, the um, Guardian piano. It used to go from crap, 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 crap to when I was like super late game. It starts up. Who wants some? Who dares? <laughs> Who dares? <laughs> uh, see, I'm doing my best sing song impersonation, Lucian. Your soul is mine. To be honest, I used the Master Sword for a mining pick. <laughs> I was doing that. Like. <laughs> I did that for a little bit. And the fact that it doesn't quote you break? Oh, my God. Oh, I've done that way too many times. It's okay. Okay. So does this blacksmith repair what's his faces? He would weapon? repair the roots weapon, yes. That's what I was guessing. It makes sense you have to go back to the correct town to get the weapon fixed. There we go. You should. You I've should. had a blast. I have had just so much fun. Even when the game was hard or difficult and I got frustrated. This game the is game's great. phenomenal. Game of the year for a reason. It's it's just really good. It's it is. It, game of the year for a reason. Exactly. Although speaking of game of the year, game awards are coming up in a few weeks. And I got a bone to pick. So um I love video games. You all know that. Video games are a passion of mine. And I care about the video game awards because I think it's a it's a great way to give even more praise to really good games. I have a bone to pick with Red Dead Redemption 2 being on the ballot. Not, I'm not saying it's not a great game and not worthy of praise. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if it was, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like an indie title or something. And it just came out. You can't tell me it would be on the game of the year list. Because it wouldn't be. So. I've heard complaints about other games being like in years past that shouldn't have been on the list. And people always complain. Well, now it's my year to complain. <laughs> my turn. I agree. I feel it's, it's too soon. It, it didn't come out. They have, like, this deadline. It's not a real deadline, but it's kind of, like, understood. That... Uh... Late October ish. Oh, that's okay. We're just gonna be standing here for a minute. I don't think Red Dead's been out long enough to be considered for this year's Game Awards, personally. Yeah, I agree with you, Zara. It's been too soon for a nomination. See, it's, it came out October 26th. 
Is it making that's, it for... That's late. Is it making it for Red Dead 1? I don't think so, honestly. I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. That might be a good call. Because sometimes that happens, too. It's just like any other award show. That, it, that's what it's become. Please in written form into the fireplace. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. But it's my stream. <laughs> But, I, I think oh, I think it's agree, too soon. Yeah. No, I think it's too soon also. Yeah, I think I think it's too soon. Yeah, i um, And that's just me. Like the like the last week of October. <coughs> from there on, it seems to be it's too it's too late. You say by mid October it needs to be out? Yeah. And that's not what happens all the time, but there have been games that don't get put into the award ceremony. Like, I'm trying to think of a from years past. I just know it's happened. Yeah. And they don't get to be in either year because they came out at a weird, weird time. A weird time. Red Dead Redemption 2 is in that weird time. But, but we make an exception for it, right? Because... It's Rockstar, and well, it's Red Dead Redemption well, 2. Well, like one thing I saw was another contender for Game of the Year was um, Celeste, the, a really hard... Yeah! <laughs> that like, really shocked me. That really shocked me, but I'm like, that's an indie game. That got that nomination. Holy crap. <laughs> that's cool. I kind of wanted to win just out of principle, honestly. <laughs> That'd be won't. neat. It won't. It's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2, and that's what's really going to gonna set me off because I just don't feel like it should be there. Right. Not that it's not a good enough game to be there. It is. It's just that you're in that weird time period. You're in that weird time slot. Where other games have been left out before. Because they've been released in the holiday era, I guess you call it. But they'll get... Ha ha! It burned! Yes. <laughs> that's fine. That, that that's my two cents. That's, it, it's my two cents. It's not going to be, it's not a popular opinion. We've been kind of doing that today, unpopular opinions. But I don't feel like it should be there. I just don't. Here's my thing. If the game comes out for, let's, so like in this, is if it came out holiday 2018, I think it can be considered for game of the year 2019. Because see, of but the they never do that. Thing. They never do that. They never do that. I am really glad to see, I believe Monster Hunter World it's yes. on there. Now, you see, it came out like January. Yeah. And I think that's really cool that people remember, have remembered it. Because usually what happens is, is nominated for this year? Correct, right? Yes. Red Dead is nominated for this no, year. No, no, Celeste. Oh, Celeste is nominated for this year. Yes. Um, Celeste came out this year, I think. Did it? Come it came out on the Switch. Um, yes, it came out January of this year. Okay. So it's, see, it's, it's in this year. And I like it when games that are, were older in the year are remembered because we're in such a fast paced society these days yeah. that I think it's easy to remember, it's easy to forget games that came out January, February that are game of the year contenders. But we tend to forget about them. Yeah. Well, a lot has happened this year. Yeah, a lot has happened in 2018 <laughs> for sure. Hey, look, now you have a ring on your finger. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a lot has happened this year. A lot has happened, at least for me this year, a lot has happened. <laughs> a lot of it in a very short time frame. <laughs> okay, it is. I thought it was. The RPG field, by the way, is stacked. Yes. I, I don't know. I don't know who's getting that. Pull, pull up the uh, Game Award list. Do you have the Game Award list? 
Um, it's something I wanted to talk about. We got 30 minutes left. Let's have some fun before the weekend. We've there's not much going to be going on here. I'm looking for money. And I'm just gonna mess it around. Because the RPG field is. Oh, you can uh, vote now. Y you yes, can... you can vote now. Okay, Game of the Year nominations: Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Celeste, God of War, Spider-Man, Monster Hunter World. Red Dead 2. Man, Spider-Man was so good. Yeah, Spider-Man was good. I wouldn't be I basically want anybody but Red Dead 2 to re Redemption to win that. <laughs> I, <And> <laughs> these are all good contenders. Like, God of War was great. Celeste was God great. of War was amazing. Spider-Man was really good. The world was good. Yeah, Spider-Man was so good. I just really don't want Red Dead to smoke them because it was hyped up so much. Because it was super hyped up and it happened right here at the end of the year. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like the Oscar for games. Basically, this is what this, this is. is uh, this is what this is. It's the video game awards. Hey, Snow Smasher. Nice. Cool. With with long throw. Oh man. Oh, well, oh, it's about to break. Hey, you got him. <laughs> Basically, correct. Um. Zero mm -hmm. loves Red Dead Two, but wants Spider Man to win. I have another one. Okay. I was kind of having them for this area, and this area is over, so. Persona 5 was last year. People were mad because Breath of the Wild beat it. Yeah. Did, but I mean, where did this. Pro, when did Persona come out? And Th This deserves it. No, like this was hype. This came out in March and was hyped up basically the entire time. I I, I think this was a well earned victory for Breath of the Wild. Anyway, let, let's get to let's get to the RPGs. Go to the RPG section because this is this is my wheelhouse for RPGs. Now, one of these I have not played. At least one. I remember one of these I have not played. Wait a second. Yeah, you can scroll through all of this. Yeah, it's near the bottom. Celeste is actually up for several awards. Now yes, it is. There we go, RPGs. Okay, so RPGs nominees, best RPGs. Dragon Quest Eleven. Dragon Quest Eleven, which I have not got to play yet, but I've heard lots of good things about. Monster and Hunter. Oops, sorry. Monster Hunter World. Which I, I kind of get. It does have a lot of RPG elements. It's kind of you know action RPG. I don't know if I would really consider it true RPG. Would you consider it action adventure game? I I consider it more action adventure. Okay, that's fair. Um, Nino Kuni two, which is my my pick to win. Uh, Rolling Crane twenty twenty. Yeah, Rolling Crane twenty twenty. Unite the world. Um, Octopath Traveler. Which I am thoroughly enjoying right now, by the way. Which I think has a solid chance, honestly. So the action adventure, I kind of do too, but I could see why you might put it in RPG. Yeah. I talk about Monster. Um, and Pillars of Eternity too. I want to play Pillars of Eternity too so bad. I haven't got to play it yet, but I played the first one and thoroughly loved it. And everything I have, I have read said the second one's better. It's just better across the board. So very excited for that. D I can see DQ11 being top three. Nino Kuni 2 was fun, but the end game was lacking, in my opinion, for the, from Lucian. Okay. I personally disagree, but that's that's just me. Maybe not the top spot, but top three from Neko says DQ11. I can see DQ11 winning the whole thing. I want to see Octopath win, personally. I would love to see Octopath win. I'd be fine with that, but... I don't know. I just... I think Nino Kuni 2 is going to be. Nino Kuni 2 is great. Like, it has some slow parts, but it is great. It's 
how you picked it. Oh, you're outside the hot area. I so, am. I was like, I didn't yeah, it wasn't cooked. <laughs> City will buy certain stones also for a cool. high, higher price. Oh, nice. Okay. Because it's too hot for her to go hunt. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, what other categories are there? We can go back to the. Yeah. Um, let's see. Best. Rooting for Octopath. I think Octopath has a very good chance to win. Yeah. I, I am thoroughly enjoying Octopath so far. What I've played of like the demos and a little bit I've played on my own time, it's very well done for an RPG. Man, it's it's good. I do know um, it is nominated for best art. Yes. And I Octopath needs to win. Yes. Just um, just flat out, it needs to win. Going down the list now of categories. Best ongoing game. Destiny 2 Forsaken. Mm -hmm. Fortnite. Mm -hmm. No Man's Sky. Ha! It's it's improved a lot. I was actually talking about this earlier. Overwatch. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Let's go Rainbow Six Siege. I have Rainbow Six Siege out of all of those because I, think, I really don't care for really any of those, honestly. I can see Fortnite it. getting it. I see Fortnite. Big Fortnite is. I see Fortnite. Win. Yay! Oh, hey, Carl. Yay. Seven. Bye bye. Ten more. Um. I honestly don't care about that that list. Not one bit. Yeah, it's kind of a meh list. You know, for me personally. Four. I haven't caught up this one. Anyway. Uh, best game direction. A way out. Detroit Become Human. Detroit Become Human. God of War. God of War to leave. Spider Man. And Spider -Man. Red Dead 2. I, I don't know that you do. I think I, it should be Detroit. It should be Detroit Become Human. We played through Detroit in our own time, and it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah we played through Detroit Become Human. I rented it through Gameplay. And uh, we we played through it on our own time over two, three weekends? So, two weekends? Like two weekends. Like two weekends. We played through it. Sat down and just really played through Detroit Become Human. It was amazing. I was pretty happy with the ending we got. Yeah, I think we, we got a really good ending. Um, I was happy with the choices we made and everything. Yeah. I saw you. Stand up. I should be able to break you. <laughs> Let's see. Um, next up, best narrative. Detroit Become Human. God of War. Life is Strange 2, Episode 1. Yep. Spider-Man, Red Dead 2. What was that? Best narrative. Best narrative? Yep. This is the this is the one that I think is Red Dead uh, the Detroit. Detroit's to win. I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to win because everybody's just drooling over it. But narrative-wise, it it's so good. It's a bunch of rusty, rusty weapons. Yeah. Um, I think there must be like grave murders. Detroit was so good. Detroit had a, an amazing narrative. I felt. <laughs> First I said no. <laughs> right before I swung. <laughs> the bird like trotting around, he's like, ha ha. <laughs> uh, Zarda, you're rooting for Spider Man? Okay. Spider Man, I would be perfectly okay with winning. I can just. They Spider did. Such a good job with Spider-Man. He felt like Spider-Man. Yeah. I didn't play Spider-Man. I watched one of Cinder's friends, uh, Sir yeah. Gun-Gun, played it. Yeah, Sir Gun-Gun, Gun, when he came for the wedding, because he was one of my groomsmen, um, he had Spider-Man. I basically watched him play through all of Spider-Man over I, the time he was here. I watched him play some of it. It was really and well done. it was... It felt like Spider-Man. Like, he felt like, like Spidey. Yeah. Like, and, old school that I remember growing up, Spider. And just the problems he goes through in the game. And it was it was so well done. Zareth wants Spider-Man and God of War to win at least one award. I'm totally fine with that. I'm okay with that. God of War is amazing. Um, let's see. 
Next up, best art direction. This has Octopath in it. Um, Octopath wins, but who's else in it? <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Octopath Traveler, Red Dead 2, Return of Abra Din. See, I don't know that. I'll Not be honest. Aubra that Dead. sounds really um, it sounds indie. indie to me. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know it. But Octopath. All the other ones have great. Yeah, they have great graphics. Yes. Like, they have phenomenal graphics. They're, you know, top tier graphics in games. Exactly. But, like, art direction, to have the art style of Octopath Traveler, I think, sets it apart. I really, I really feel like it should, it should be. Okay. I really do. Like, Octopath just stands out so much. They went, they took a risk, it went for a more old school style, and it worked well. Very well. Uh, let's see. Spider-Man reminds you of the old PS1 Spider-Man games. That's what I've heard a lot of people say. Those games were really good. And the new Spider-Man. Trying. Yep, yeah, Valfry. In the name of Goddess Hylia, Alfred is trial. You know the, the rule. A balanced approach. The more I'm hearing about Red Dead 2 and the Game Show Awards, the more I think it, it's like the Oscars. In terms of the closest movies tend to be the Oscar bait. So it's later release games you go game show bait. Basically, I yes. agree with that, yes. The closer you're, you're released to the Game Awards, the more bait you are. I, I can fully agree. Which is why that. I'm so happy that so many games that came out, early this came year. out earlier this year are getting, uh, getting attention. Getting attention. Um, best score slash music presented by Spotify. <laughs> presented by Spotify. Celeste. Which I, I don't know its music. Uh, God of War. Spider Man. Nino Cooney 2. Octopath Traveler. Red Dead 2. I really like um, Octopath's music, but Nino Cooney's music. Nino Cooney had better music. Had Great music, like really pumping me up. Yeah. The music and the sad music was was great. I really liked its music. I listened to Red Dead Redemption 2's soundtrack here and here and there through reviews and things like that. And to be honest, what I heard, um, it it fits its game well. But honestly, I don't think it's anything to write home about. Like it has it had some good tracks again. Just what little I've I haven't heard any. Of I, this I've heard um, it fits its theme well, and like it's good for the game, but it's not anything that I felt was super super great. Uh, next up, best audio design presented by Dolby. Presented by Dolby. Call of Duty Black Ops Four. It's got some really uh, good sound effects. Forza Horizon 4, God of War, Spider-Man, and Spider Red Dead 2. Man, Spider-Man has some... Spider-Man's getting some getting a lot of love, but I mean, it's... It should. It's like, I need help. I'm re All right, wait, what's going on? Oh, you're going to do the balance thing. Um, I need a starting point, because I don't see... Okay, wait, go back to start. I don't see anything for me to do. Right. Let me see. Um, right, there's those barrels I can... Those can bombs. you chuck a bomb arrow to your, uh, to your right? Or a bomb? Oh, I see. It's breakable. Yeah. No, no, not that. To your right, look up. It's a treasure chest. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, there, there, there's stuff there, but I want to get up there and bomb it. Like, I can't... I can't explode up. But now I can't get up there. Can you can you my niece is one of your swords? Oh, there we go. Oh, well, that doesn't help me. I was thinking if you my niece is one of your swords, and you set to knock the chest off. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I see, I see, I see. I see. I see, you're, Lucy. You're here for a reason. You're burnable. Oh, <laughs> nice. 
Yes, audio design, I don't really... Yeah, sound effects, which I tend to lower in games. Yeah, I don't really pay attention to the sound effects that much anyway. Um, Open. Best performance. So this is to the voice actors. And I'll be saying the voice actor and who they acted. Um, Brian Petrart as Connor from Detroit Becomes Human. So good. He was amazing. Christopher Judge as Kratos, God of War. Is also a amazing. very good Kratos. I'm probably gonna butcher his name. Melissa Anki Maha as Cassandra in Odyssey. Which I didn't hear Cassandra's voice line. So. Roger Court as Arthur Morgan from Red Dead 2. And Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker in Spider Man. Man. I think it's between Yuri and. Brian. Yuri Lowenthal killed it as yeah. Spider Man. He did. He was, he was so a great good. Spider Man. So but Connor, Connor from Detroit. Human. I want I want Detroit become human because it was kind of split on whether people like really liked it or didn't like it, and we loved it. I yeah. want I want Detroit become human to get at least one award. I yeah. feel like it needs. It should get something. Yes. Detroit Becomes Human was awesome. It, it was awesome. It was so good. We loved it. Like I, we played. Like we only went through. Yeah, one we went through it line, once. But it was great. Yeah, what we had, like just the options we chose and how it all played out, we were so satisfied with. Oh yeah. Games for impact that are thought provoking game with profound pro social meaning or message. So I think along those lines. Eleven Eleven, Memory Tree Hold, I don't know. I don't know. Celeste, which was not bad actually, very thought provoking. Florence, I don't know. Life is Strange 2, Episode 1, I never paid attention to Life is Strange series, honestly. And The Missing, J.J. Macphill in the Island of Memory. Yeah, to be honest, I got nothing for this one. Yeah. <laughs> the only one I know all this is is Celeste. That's all I got. Some designs for Spider-Man make sense. They probably nominate that because of the radio slash comp set that you hear when you're new. Spider-Man. I can see that. While they are typical games, they give you moments of thought and propagation. That's great. Okay. Game won't let you call physics. Can you put it on top of the other one? Probably, but no. Uh, you have to like get down and go back up. Best indie game. Celeste again. Yeah, Celeste was nominated. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. Death Cells, which I heard is actually really good. Into the Breach. Return of the Aura Den. And The Messenger. I'm I'm really rooting for End of the Breach. I want to get it. I still haven't gotten it, and I know it's on. Um, I know it's on sale right now on uh, Humble Bundle. I really want to get it. I'm not a, the biggest roguelike person, but a roguelike strategy game, cool. Let's give it a try. J. Jonah Jameson isn't a radio host. He's a picture of Spider-Man. <laughs> Thank you. J. Jonah Jameson sounds like, in in the game. He sounds like the most like, like tin foil like, hat wearing. Yeah, fury conspiracies. Yeah, like. and I love it. Like it, it fits him. fits into me. It's great. It's like he finally lost all of his marbles obsessing over Spider-Man. So he finally just went full conspiracy theories with Spider-Man. It's it's great. I love the way they did this character. Best mobile game, which has a category now. Yay! Donut County. Donut. Florence. Fortnite. 
PUBG Reigns Game of Thrones. Now I played Reigns the normal version and that was pretty fun, but I don't know anything about the Game of Thrones version. I can see Fortnite getting it because Fortnite. Yeah. I found a really great tentacle in the RPG. If I thought it would make it no, rude. Stupid spikes. What do you mean you doubt it would make it? What was the tactical in the RPG Lucian? Got it. Fell still? I never heard of it. I've not heard of that. Basically, FFT but new? I'm down. I love Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, it's got 9 out of 10 on Steam right now. Okay. I will definitely be checking that out. See, we got something great out of this. Fail Seal? Is that? Yeah, I got it up. Arbitrary Mark. Fail Seal Arbitrary Mark. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that. I've been looking for maybe a strategy game to do on the channel. I'm just... I don't wanna... I wanna do Fire Emblem because it's been a pain to get... It. Oh. To get it working on the computer. Next up, best VR slash AR games. I wish I had VR. I like. No we're just gonna skip this. because I don't think any of us have VR. Maybe you do. Yeah. Um, I don't. Um, I would like to try VR though. Um. Well, clearly it has to be Tetris. Tetris. Tetris effect. It clearly has to be the game. Okay. Is Beat Saber on there? Beat Saber. Um. Yes. That should win. That game's so cool looking. Uh, have you ever seen Beat Saber? So, it's like playing like DDR. You're about to catch fire. I don't think you're about to catch fire. This bow is about to catch fire. Um, you know, like DDR where you touch the pads and everything? Okay. Yeah. Now, think you have like the Switch remotes because you have the PlayStation Move. Okay. And you hit, it's like you have, your remotes become like two lightsabers. Mm -hmm. And you hit where the blocks are. That's In cool. turn with the beat. It is awesome looking. I couldn't play it because I'm fat and not not athletic, but I've seen like people play it and it looks like a blast. Just looks so cool. We have a VR set in Oculus. I am jealous. I'm super jealous. Uh, uh, next up, best action game. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Dead Cells, Destiny 2, Far Cry 5, Mega Man 11. See, that's a very interesting list to me, because that that's, that's so all over the place. I'm really interested in what's going to win. I, I really want to know what wins. I kind of want Far Cry to win that. I can see Black Ops winning it because Call of Duty. Yeah, Destiny 2 was nominated. I know. We can just skip it. Right. Dead How? Cells. Because Forsaken expansion? Dead Cells looks amazing. Far Cry 5, from what I saw you playing, it was hilarious. It, it was super good. Like, there was only one real bad area, but other than that, it was great. Yeah. I I enjoyed my my time with, with Far Cry 5. I want Mega Man 11 to win. I, Mega I Man would, needs some it, love. There's so much difference in that category there that is. I, I have no clue who's going to win. Uh, best action adventure game. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. God of War. Spider-Man. Red Dead 2. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. See, to me, it should be Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man's gonna get that. Either Spider-Man or God of War. But I don't want Red Dead to get that one. I could that that's the award that I see Red Dead winning. Like really winning. Yeah. I said I could see them winning a lot of rewards. That's the one. I think above all else. It wouldn't shock me if they won. I could feel I could see Black Ops winning because of college. I agree. I don't think so. 
Cog usually doesn't win this. Cog is Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Cog usually doesn't win because it's it's multiplayer. And usually it's not not for that. Got a spider boy. Yeah, got a spider boy. Uh, best fighting game. Blaze Blues cross tag battle. That one was fairly recent, I think. Uh, it was September something. If okay. I remember right. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So good. Soul Calibur Six. Not got to play it sadly. Street Fighter that just 6. came out. See, Soul Calibur Six should be better. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter Six or Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter 5. Arcade edition. Meh. Meh. Not as good as older Street Fighters. To me. I could see DBZ getting that. Obviously. I could definitely see Fighter Z winning. Maybe Soul Calibur 6, but I definitely see Fighter Z. Because people had a blast with Fighter Z. Man, that, yeah. That really took over Evo. Red God of Spider Call of Redemption 2. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Lucian. Everybody wins. And Knuckles. <laughs> and Knuckles. <laughs> Best family game. Mario Tennis Aces. Nintendo Labo. Overcooked 2. Starlink Battle for Atlas, which also came out pretty recently. Yeah, they did come out really recently. And Super Mario Party. Yay! We've been having so much fun with Super Mario Party. We've had a lot of fun with Super Mario Party. I hope Super Mario Party or the Nintendo Labo wins, because for all the hate the Nintendo Labo gets, I think it's great. I think it's a neat idea, I for think sure. it's such a cool idea for people that want to make make something, but are, but are kids just kind of starting out. So you can make this thing that they can... Yeah, I could see, like, kid, like if I was, like, 20 years younger, I could totally be having an like, absolute blast with that thing. Yeah, like, I, I would. I would have loved the lab. Yeah. You get people thinking about, you know, engineering, making stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I think it's, it's such a really cool idea. Or it's like they can make an actual steering wheel to use in Mario Kart or something. Yeah, like, there's... No, you can have, like, a fishing game with it. It's cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Exactly. Exactly. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Super Mario Party is not a family game. It's a friendship ruining game. <laughs> it is a friendship ruining game. I guess that is true. I'm waiting for the to scale Gundam level. <laughs> Let's do it. Go a, time. A one-to-one -one scale Gundam made out of cardboard. <laughs> That'd be nuts. That would be amazing. Um, best strategy game. This is this is for me. The Banner Saga Three. No. BattleTech. I've not played. That's the one I have. Frostpunk. I looked it up. It looked alright. Into the Breach. Oh, yeah. And Valkyria Chronicles Four. Oh, I need to get to that. Let's play down there. Yes, you do. Down with Ganon. Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. Down with Ganon. Next week. For sure, down with Ganon. We're, we're doing, we're, we're, Hyrule will be fine, we're side questing. That's true. <laughs> the best true. We're currently talking about uh, video game rewards for the last couple of minutes of the stream. Um, While I look for money. Best sports slash racing game. FIFA 19. FIFA. Forza Horizon 4. Mario Tennis Aces, NBA 2K19, Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. Pez. I'll be quite honest, I don't see Mario Tennis getting any awards because of how poorly it was received. Yeah, I don't either. Which is a shame because I love Mario Tennis. On my stream, we beat him on Master Mode tonight. Nice. Congratulations! Well done. I'm not that cool. <laughs> but I am playing blind. Uh, oh, here you're saying best multiplayer. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. See, I could I could see it winning because of Blackout. Destiny 2 Forsaken. Mm. Fortnite. Monster Hunter World. Sea of Thieves. I'm surprised. That, that last one. 
yeah. shocked me when I read that. I could not believe Sea of Thieves got... Got on there. Got Same. on there. Same. Like, that really took me a surprise. I was like, really? Sea of Thieves is on there? Like, it's okay from what I've heard. It's... It's alright. Yeah. I, get, I can see Fortnite just because Fortnite. I can see Fortnite because Fortnite. But I can and, also see COD. It's interesting. Um, oh, died twice, yeah. That's not, that's not fun. Ducks raw. I have not even touched Master Mode, and frankly, I really don't want to. I'm just, that's just not how I play games. I don't care for the super hard modes. <laughs> Mario Tennis as a sports game, that feels odd. It does. But, I mean, it used to be really good sports games, honestly. Mario... Mario Golf. Mario Golf. Mario, Mario, Golf. Mario Soccer Striker is actually super good. I like it. But Aces was just not like the Mario Tennis everybody was wanting it to be sadly. <laughs> Best student game. Um, student project created in high school or college level. Long throw! Which I don't know any of these, so <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was funny. <laughs> Long throw. This is really cool. If you've not heard about the uh say that category again? The best let me get back to it. Best student games. Best student games. So, these were um, submitted by students. At high school or college level. High school or college level. Making a game. And these are the the final. We, of course, we've never played any of these. Yeah. But who's judging them is awesome. They have leaders of the industry. Um, there, there are a few of them, but I can... There's like five or six, but I can name you two of them for sure that you've probably heard of. One of them is Todd Howard. You know, he makes a little game called Fallout, I think it's called, and another series, Elder Scrolls? He did Fallout Skyrim S Edition, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, something like that. <laughs> so, it, Todd Howard. <laughs> You're so wrong, but oh, so right. So mean. Um, but um, Todd Howard from Bethesda, you know that 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 Todd Howard, and another person you've probably heard of, Hideo Kojima. This Kojima. Ko this Kojima guy. <laughs> they are two of the people that are going to be. Um, Hideo Kojima is is uh they are them and like three others that I don't remember their names off the bat. Yeah, I can't I can't remember them off the top off the top of my head, but are judging, and I think that's so cool. Yeah, that you, they're going to be not just judging, but from what I've read, they're going to be giving insight and tips and uh, constructive. Basically, information, feedback, and criticism. feedback, and, and feedback and criticism, and helping these these finalists these get artists. even right, get even better. And I think that's awesome. Yeah, I think that's it, so cool. At a high school or college level, you can submit games to the game awards. I think that's really neat. Speaking, like I, uh, speaking of it's Kojima, a great opportunity for those people. Uh, yes, sir. Speaking of Kojima. Also, you mean that game that's failing right now? That real quick, failing ish. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get it in tomorrow, and then I can give you my opinions on it after I play it over the weekend. I heard that there's actually a release date for the 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 stranding. You know anything about the new game he's making? Um, it's the most Kojima thing I have seen, and you want to play it just because. Wasn't a release date given? Or I'm not sure yet. Maybe. That's one I heard that maybe. Um, everything I have I have seen is just what. Yeah. But, I'm but I want to play it. Yes. But what? But I want to play it. Next category. Best esports game. CS2. Uh, CSGO. CSGO. Counter-Strike. Dota 2. Uh, Dota Fortnite. Dota. League of Legends. Overwatch. <sighs> this this list hurts me. Like it just <laughs> I do not have any cares about this this whole list. In the next few categories I don't know about is like Actual players and teams in the esports and the coaches. yeah, it's all esports stuff, which I think is kind of cool. cool. I wish I was on the announcer. There's an announcer award. Yeah. 
esports announcer. I wish I was on there because that would be there's really esports. Cool. I could be. I think I could be an esports announcer. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Give awards. Woo. That that's how you do it with Kojima's there. I watched the trailer and I have more questions. Correct. He did it correctly. <laughs> you, you should you should try Zars. Let's see where you have to do to submit it towards the Game Awards and go for it. You should do that. Do that for next year. Really polish up, polish up the game as much as you can and go for it. You get those people that give their Oscar, you know, and, um, opinions about the, their Oscar opinions about things. Um, there's my game award opinions and analysis. You're welcome. Oh, it's that time. So, um, that does it for this stream. Made some money. We'll continue trying to make money and try to find some more um, shrines and uh, just in general kind of tying up some loose ends before we we head off to Ganon. That's kind of where I am right now. There's some more stuff I'd like to do before we fight Ganon because honestly, once we get through the game, that's probably going to end the in the stream series for me. Not th that they're saying there's nothing else to do. There will be tons else to do. But we always have other projects and things to get to. I'm not saying that there will be a night stream per se. but Just want to make all that clear. Ecorico Village. Yeah, I might... I haven't decided whether I'm going to do some of the EX stuff. Like, I might do the Champions stuff, because that sounds fun. The Champions battle is really fun. Might see a tactical RPG in the future? You just might. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's possible. Um, but I haven't completely decided how much extra stuff I want to do with... Which Zelda? How much more? Oh, there is a set order. Sorry, I just saw the, like the all the um, icons going across the loading screen. I was wondering if they're going to be in a set order because you did a different order than I did. Right. They actually have a set order. Neat. Huh. I noticed that. It was like, oh, the camels yeah. back there when I did it third. <laughs> Sin just unveiled his plan to take over the world. <laughs> I mean, what? Narf. <laughs> Good job, Zareth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the... That's the current plan for... Um, Breath of the Wild. Um, no promises, but me and Knight have been talking about after Ultimate comes out. Um, maybe doing some random streams of Ultimate at night and showing up the game just goofing around no promises we may or may not do that it'll just it'll just depend um, that's one of the plans and another one is just to go back to the day stream which is probably what what I'm gonna end up doing for a while um, as for whenever this ends another night stream because we're here we're close to the end this will probably be done next week if i had to guess depending on how much 
Well, how much side questing you want to do. Yeah, side whatever. questing stuff. So, I'm going to guess probably next week we'll be through with Breath of the Wild. Um, speaking of next week, because I'll just say this now and then remind you over the course of next week as well. No streams Thanksgiving because... Food. <laughs> food and... Um, More food. In, in-laws <laughs> and things like that now... I have another side of the family to, <laughs> to go to since I'm married now. So, uh, that's... That's a thing. That's a thing. So, no streams Thanksgiving or that Friday. So, that Thursday, Friday, no streams. Um, so, there's streams Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. No thanks streaming? No. No thanks streaming? No. Um... I'm probably going to come out with a video. It just depends on if I have time or not. I'm kind of struggling between <laughs> recording Octopath, afternoon stream, evening stream, uploading Octopath, uh, taking the streams from here, putting them on YouTube, and uploading StarCraft. Day's kind of full. So... <laughs> I'd like to see a Sin versus Night game fight. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, we, I will try to come up with like a Thanksgiving video. I've done that in the past where I just, it's basically me thanking all of you for um, the support over the year and for liking the videos, showing up to the streams, commenting, telling jokes, keeping things fun. Um, just being a loyal supporter of the channel. That's mainly what it's about, in case I just don't get get to it. So, in advance, thank you. And I always do give thanks for that. I've done that every, every year since I've started. For the people that do, do support do support me neither on twitch or the youtube channel i always appreciate it i uh i never take it for granted because you all could easily to me find somebody who's either funnier or a speedrunner who's better at the game or um just another streamer in general but you don't you you stay with me and i thank you for that and I always hope you have a good time. You know, I always say it at the end of streams, and I always mean it. It's not just uh, the a, a throwaway outro. Um, I always mean it every time I say it. Have a great weekend. I always mean that, too. And until Monday, for more Breath of the Wild, for night. I'm a nice comic. See you later. I'm Sundry Night. Remember to shoot for the stars and... Take care, everyone.